Alrighty, welcome back to another Millennium Dawn A to Z video. We're actually playing the last of the A countries today, uh, Azerbaijan. Now one thing I also know is that we hit 2,000 subscribers, so got a randomized Outlooks game and I can already see some weird names. Anatolian Caliphate. Yeah, this should be interesting. You know what, let's just click on one and see what it looks like. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> so it appears we're also losing half a billion dollars a week, which is just... It's just brilliant. 15% interest rate on our debt. This is just, oh my God, this is awesome, guys. I've never heard of Chiondo. What, let me look it up on Google. What is Chiondo? Okay, it's Korean. So we're copying North Korea again, I guess, or something. I, 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 I don't know. All right, let's just, let's take a quick glimpse at the entire world's like faction map. <laughs> oh no. What the hell is this? Like, as a democratic nation, I'm very worried about democratic support around the world. We got, we got China, of all people. China's democratic. Oh yeah, I forgot we have this system again too. Let's start questioning locals or something, I don't know. Alright, I managed to climb out of my debt hole. I defunded the police a little bit. I know that's a little bit of a hot topic in America, but it had to be done. We also did the more important thing by defunding the old people. <laughs> Because even though we're only on the third tier of funding them, okay, out of like the seven options, we're only on the third, it would still cost us almost a billion dollars. Dude, it's crazy how expensive they are, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, because Armenia is different from Russia in terms of ideology. They left the faction. I don't have to wait for you to declare war on me. That's the good thing. I don't have any Russia coming up my asshole. Okay, we found a cult in Armenia. The father of our nation has a cult-like following we can extensively use and enlarge. If we will not enlarge in the Aviv's cult, the legitimacy of our clan that- Clan? Boy, this ain't no Clash Royale. Unless- Unless we're just putting cards down the front line. <laughs> I- I don't know. We're making goods? I don't remember making any goods. I thought we were just a clan state where all we did was fight each other. I didn't know we made goods for the, the, the we, we lost stagnation again. That's, oh yeah, that's what that's what not producing goods does. I, I, I totally wouldn't forget that guys. <laughs> okay, now we're just magically losing money again. I don't know where the additional spending's coming from. Ugh. I mean, it looks like I might have to defund old people again. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a shame they have to live on minimal subsidy subsidies. Guess what? You're too old for the military? We see no obligation to support you. You ain't serving our country. We ain't serving you. Get the hell out of here, oldie. It's a good thing I'm not a first world country because then I'd be getting blowback from the citizens like, oh my God, this guy's evil. But since we're a third world country, no one looks that direction. Everybody's just looking at the next war that's about to happen. We're fine. Jesus Christ, they're giving me, oh my, economic boom. This game's being way too nice, man. Like I am getting a little suspicious. Usually it's like, oh my God, people aren't buying your shit. Oh my god, your stock markets are crashing. Alright, so the country's running a little better than it was before. Making a decent amount of money, we're able to pay down debts. The problem is our stability is really bad. Oh, it's down 2%. Yeah, it's just gonna sink back to zero again. Welcome to fucking Azerbaijan. <laughs> okay, I, I just decided to take a look at our uh, ideological powers. We have cronyism to give us political power per corruption level. Uh, good connections, tax revenues from civilian industries plus 10%. Ooh, you can scum your citizens out. So basically, this is the ideology where your citizens suck your dick and you get no punishment for it. Hey, you wanna bail for zero billion dollars? I can give you that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I guess I ain't going to either stagnation or risk like even more. Why would I do that? I just gonna go into stagnation guaranteed. That other option just seemed like it was more risky for no gain at all. Oh, c <laughs> come on. I knew the game. I, I knew it was up to something here. Then starts to go to shit. And we haven't even done anything like meaningful yet. The game, the one game that I decide that I might try to go for Iran. They start the nuclear program. <laughs> Why does this event keep it? We're gonna try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, if I get another friend snitched on you thing, I'm gonna give up on the concept of friends like I have in real life already. And I am going to unleash hell on this Hoi 4 game. Fuck's sake. I am going to rip my head off of my own body 
I, I'm sick of hearing the scene that same exact fucking message. Oh my goodness. I, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not doing that decision ever again. Because it's literally just working against me at this point. Fuck you. Friends are a, a conspiracy theory. I don't believe in friends anymore after playing this game. I think friends are worse than just hating everybody in the world. I'd rather do that now. Thanks, my name, Dawn. You're teaching the real life lessons. I can do a focus myself that forces the country of Turkey to guarantee me. That doesn't seem fair. All right, I just forced Turkey to guarantee me. <laughs> it's the cheesiest thing ever, dude. I basically just forced Turkey against their will to protect me. He passed away. Wait, wait, huh? He passed away. That never happens. I, I, I've seen that guy alive till like 2010. What the hell happened this time? Ah, that's a nice focus, actually. It's like the first decent focus I've gotten other than that one that just gave me a ton of equipment. I get $5 billion in 35 days. Like, it's these, it's like these focuses that give you five, like, billions of dollars at a time. Where do they get the money from? It's not coming from the GDP. The GDP is already giving me half a billion a week. And then just out of nowhere, Ilham Ayyivez, Ayyiv, how the fuck you pronounce it? He just pulls it, the money out of his ass. It's so weird. How does Arabia get capturing a city? The, how does that help me? Why, why am I seeing a Saudi Arabian event? I'm not Saudi Arabia. Bro, stop. I don't need to know about Yemen's failures. You don't need to keep sharing with me every single event that happens over there. I don't need to know. In other word news, we have our first military factory. Woo, I'm so excited. We can take a whole year to resupply our RPGs. And now you're going to war with Syria. A Salafist Ottoman Empire. And honestly, it sounds a little scary. Luckily, I'm not playing as Armenia this game then. Yeah, this was a very quick war against Syria. They did not stand much of a chance, did they? Oh god, that, that might actually be hard to crack though. Because they, they pushed 100,000 men back into this corner. They might be here for a while. Good luck, Turkey. Looks like Turkmenistan is also in the same situation as Turkey. You've backed up how many men? 30,000 men into this tiny corridor. And that's, not, and that's not even the worst part. Once they take this city, they're not gonna have two provinces to attack her anymore. They're gonna be stuck in one. They're gonna have to break through the mountains over here. Good fucking luck. I don't even have a focus right now. And we're making only one bonnet political power a day, dude. God. Just give me some, oh my God, 1% stability. You have 1% stability, let's go. So yeah, I finally decided to address some of these shitty templates. I mean, what, what the fuck is this? The, uh, the whole division is in the support companies. I, I Instead of just changing them outright, because that would be very expensive for poor little Azerbaijan, we have made ourselves a new template. It's not the best in the world, but it's something at least. And we're basically, we assigned three divisions to it so far. We're gonna have to slowly increase that over time. Once the Azerbaijan economy can actually afford to do it. He wants me to retire two generals with this focus. I have three. <laughs> My God, that doesn't seem very smart to remove two or three generals. That's that's worse than what Stalin did. So now that it's 2005, we have unlocked another part of the focus tree where, uh, I don't know, I guess we get actual decent focuses. I mean, these seem like, a lot of these just seem like filler focuses that didn't really help your country at all up here. But when I looked at these earlier, I noticed a lot of them are like way more beneficial to you, like more political power, more stuff being built. Some of your horrible national spirits like narco trading goes away. It's a much it's a much better part of the focus tree than what I was using before. I'll was, I was say that much. So maybe I can actually get above 11% stability. And by the way, the only reason it's not 0% right now is because I, I lowered the tax rate a bit. Dude, I, I can't buy... F <laughs> I can't buy guns either for... I'm not even like a separatist nation that's unrecognized. I'm pretty sure most of the world recognizes me. Come on. Ah, you see you want another bailout of zero dollars. Oh wait. Oh, you're actually asking for a lot of money here. Two billion. I wonder how he's gonna be able to pay it back. Guys, this is an exciting day. Our GDP per capita has finally reached $10,000. Oh my God, our people aren't living off of eating rocks anymore. <laughs> they, they can eat the dirt instead. Okay, good. 
Inconclusive outlook. Give up and let the Salafi people try instead. It wants me to have a Western. I guess I can't do that anymore. I guess my focus tree is like over now. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I, I gotta change my government type because I need to declare war on people. Oh God, we're losing political power now. Yes, the only way I can really make a good amount of political power is if I don't do a focus. So I won't do a focus for an entire year. That way. I can actually make it to Neo Imperialism and then I can roll some people over. Oh my god. Uzbekistan actually made a comeback. How did you let them come back from that? I think you're cuckoo in the head, Turkmenistan. Honestly, I think the best part of this campaign is just watching all the wars. Dude, you're postulated to Damascus. That's the thing about this right now. I am more entertained by watching this than my own country. Because my own country, it's just a disaster. Everywhere you look, huge interest rates, huge debt. No political power gained at all. But when I look at the other parts of the world, it's quite amusing. Where the fuck is this Islamic... S oh, here it is. Of course, it's, it's this thing again. When is this thing not going to happen is the better question. Holy good news. Stable growth. We can survive a little longer and we can also go to new imperialism, but yes Hey, look at this man's hairline. You know what it kind of reminds me of kind of reminds me of the civil war in Sudan <laughs> Oh, it looks like miss that receding hairline dude got kicked out was replaced with the uh, Armenian version of dr. Phil. Well, it's unfortunate you came at this point in time because you're about to die Hey, there we go. It's time to actually do something fun with this game <laughs> mean the arts. Oh god. Are we gonna lose every one? 96. Yes. Win! Yes! A win! Well, we can go. We just, let's go for the split. Okay, we're not gonna get the split. I doubt it. Okay. Oh! We split the fuckers in half. Let's go. Right, we're gonna we're gonna take this this time. I don't care what you say. This this set is going down. Please. Take him out. No. Just die and let it happen. Yes, 98. There we go. That's better. Great. Huh? Why did they white peace? Why the fuck did they white peace? This game is stupid. Okay, clearly the game for whatever fucking reason doesn't approve of doing that. I, I don't know why. Uh, we're back here. We're just gonna go with the flow. Instead of trying to take step in care place, I, we're gonna try to take a different city instead so we don't trigger the white peace this time. Bam. Gonna take all their land away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, air superiority. You need to carry me. It's the only way my sad troops can win a single battle. Yeah, get out of here. No, you're not going to reinforce. <laughs> uh, this game. I fucking swear to you, every single time that I get, like, even the slightest edge in a war, they just decide, Oh, diggity, diggity. You can't win. I'm going to crush your game. Like, dude, just because your AI is fucking dog shit, doesn't mean you could stop me. I don't give two tiny shits about your incompetence, you fucking dweeb. Would you look at that? As it turns out, no matter how many times you try to change reality, it's always the same. Oh my god. I haven't seen anything so goddamn toxic. And out of all people, it's not even a real person that's being toxic. It's a stupid piece of code. That's, you think about that. I am getting pissed off at a bunch of code. How many times do I have to shut down the same acquisition company? How many times do I have to win the same province? How many times do I have to fuck your mom for you to listen to me? Come on, please. Kill them before they can reinforce it. Why the fuck are they going to Turkey? Who the hell should I want you to go to Turkey? I know Turkey's like to gobble. How about you try gobbling my Azerbaijani nuts? Oh, now, now we can't even kill two little infantry divisions. That is how desperate we are. How am I so shit? <laughs> what kind of place is this? What if we just bail out with a white piece? We're gonna bail out. Let's go. Did we just... Oh my god. Bro. You know what? Let's just go in further into debt than we already are so we can buy some motorized divi- Oh wait. I forgot. Azerbaijan can't fucking access the market. Okay. Do we want to see what happens this time? Why the- 
Eh. Oh, I still have a truce. How long do I have a truce with you for? November 9th. Okay, that's not that far away. All right, now you have my permission to die. Let's see if we can actually break them this time. Okay, guys, we have an opportunity. Possibly... No, we ain't gonna encircle them. That'd be too good to be true, man. What, it, it, actually gain a leg up on our opponent? That's, that's too much for me. I don't deserve that at all. No, instead I deserve to be in life-threatening situations that almost cost me my entire fucking game. And now we're just... Where are we going? Why are we taking ages to... <laughs> what are we doing? I genuinely, I genuinely hope Armenia like decides to, to, to go all over here and just completely take me out. At this point, I'm gonna allow it. I am sick and tired of this. If they wanna encircle me, go right ahead. I, I am just, I've given up trying to stop you. The, the AI division planner is clearly too sped to stop you. Go ahead. And I'm just gonna sit there. See, that, that, that's just the evil thing. They don't want me to die. They want me to suffer for as long as basically fucking possible. If this isn't enough proof of that, I don't know what is, okay? <laughs> How? How the fuck? <laughs> We're just too stupid. Like, we, we don't know how to fuck to reinforce their provinces. We're just gonna let them right in. It hasn't done anything. I take a province, and instead of the planner actually doing something, trying to reinforce the flanks, they say, Oh no! I don't know what to do! And this is what fucking happens.